Hi guys, this is Chris from GrabProductsTested.com and I'm um, here to show the 2015 Isuzu D-Max Fury edition Magma Red Paint which is um, special to the Fury Great looking truck, really like it This is our long term test vehicle so we've got it for about 6 months So I'm going to show the cabin today and um, start her up and show you a few of the features on it this has got plenty of accessories and options on it um, that I usually will put on because it's the test car. Um, so I'll go through those another day. Central lock in. Um, there's really comfortable rear seats, plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, elbow room. And there's an armrest. Really neat feature. Couple of um, cup holders in the back as well. Electric windows in the rear. This is the special edition red and black Fury leather interior. There's only one edition out of a hundred trucks to have this special edition. If you want it, you best be quick um, because the Probably going to sell out quickly. Let's go ahead and start it up. As you can see, there are uh, special Fury mats that come with the car. And um, this is actually um, the same version of the Iger, but it's there's more equipment on it. You save about £2,000 on the equipment by buying this edition. Traditional key start. I believe some of the high models may have uh, push start. So 2.5 twin turbo diesel with 160 horsepower and 295 feet pound of torque, which I think is 400 newton meters. Um, nice powerful engine. All the torque's available from around 1400 rpm. Just a lovely diesel engine. It's a little bit agricultural um, when it's cold. Once you're on the road, it's um, pretty good. Not that noisy really. Between 13 and 50 miles per hour, it's um, a little bit sort of um, clunky. Um, but the cab's very well insulated. Um, so let's go through some of the stuff. First of all. There's this system which is an optional extra and it's around £1,100, uh, it's Pioneer system, it's really very good, um, for, for, it's one of the best aftermarket ones I've seen, and um, the graphics on it are great, the user interface is excellent, and um, you can change all the graphics etc. Uh, it's got DAB radio, and of course you can you can the good thing is you can select on sort of three different uh, menus, so you've got you can load a load of different channels on there. Um, I really like how easy it is to use. It's it's simple but effective. It's got a great. Um, sat nav system on it as well we're not loads up it does take a while and um, because you've got DAB you can plug in a USB it's got an auxiliary port and CD obviously behind there um, just an excellent system really really enjoy using it uh, it's nice and easy when used laid out it's only got six speakers on this one I'm not going to turn it on because it's, it'll always just be Timmy through the camera anyway um, but yeah lovely system as you can see the dash layout is um, pretty straightforward. Um, this screen on the high models it does have um, it, you can have fuel economy and stuff. This one's really just basic. You've just got a trip A and B on it, an odometer, and that's it. Some of the features I really like. It's got an absolute stack of storage space. As you can see, I've got a, a 
fairly large digital camera in there with the lens on. Um, it fits a load of stuff in there and this is pretty roomy as well. These are really good. You can fit your drink in there or you could just put a lot of change in. And there's one on the driver's side as well. A really excellent feature. Simple, which is great. And down here there's two more cup holders as well, so in total you've actually got six cup holders. Plenty of space down by the door as you can see. Fit two bottles of water in there. Um, it's got all around electric windows, it's got electric mirrors, folding mirrors, and you can obviously just your, your lights there and stuff. Um, it's a simple layout, but I like it. It's not over complex, and why should it be? It's a pickup truck. It's meant to be used for work. Um, the high models do have a different layout on there, but I've had one guy that says he actually prefers this layout. All a bit clunky and a little bit plasticky, but at the same time, it's just simple. You don't really need to take your eyes off the road. And um, it's just, you've got air conditioning, heated rear screen, and that's it. Um, you, there's no, as you can see, there's no buttons on the steering wheel. The high models do get those, so everything just controlled off the stereo here. Um, it's nothing off the steering wheel at all. Nice light roof, it's a cream interior. And um, again, nothing really special up there. There is one cool feature that you'll, I think you guys will really like. It's got a reverse cam within the rear wing mirror. The rear reverse mirror, sorry. So it's not in there, it's in here. Which I actually really like, it makes more sense. Works well. So, down here is the four-wheel drive system. You've actually got your two, which were the rear wheels for um, high ratio and then for low ratio. Um, very simple, effective. Again, leather on these seats. They're, they're quite firm, but they're uh, really comfortable to sit on. You can see, you can probably tell how wide those are. Um, so you can, you know, even if you're broad or large, you, it's, they're actually very comfortable. Plenty of legroom in both the front and the rear of the car. Um, great looking seats. And the leather's really nice. It doesn't seem like it'll wear really easily or anything like that. Um, and it's just a great touch. I really like the red and black leather. If it wasn't for that, the interior would actually be a little bit dull. I have said that in the first update. Um, which you'll want to read by going to carproductstesto.com um, There is a really deep section under here for all your stuff dash wipes and stuff like that and you do get like a cigarette or rubbish, rubbish bin with it as well which goes in there Good thing about the Isuzu is nothing rattles it's, um, it's plasticky as you can tell very plasticky, but it's all bolted together really, really well. It's you know, it's everything's took, it's nothing soft touch in this car at all on the dash or on the door cars, but you're very utilitarian. Um, what I noticed is whenever I get these door panels muddy, I just wipe them down with the cloth. Of course, there's no, um, there's no soft touch plastics to for it to get stuck into. So, yeah, the engine. Uh, on this is really sweet um, it's obviously a manual gearbox as well six speed six gear is really long on this so it's a great cruising gear you're only doing about 2000-2200 rpm at 70 or 80 miles an hour it's a very good cruising car I do miss actually not having cruise control that is a little bit annoying um, personally, I'd see if I can option it. I haven't seen an option for that on my Zuzu site, but I can guarantee there's a way of doing it. Engine's actually, like I say, a little bit grumbly, but once you get going, it's, it's a strong, powerful engine, and it pulls the truck along really well. 
there is um, nothing really to complain about on that front. Fuel economy, their stats are higher than you actually get. Um, you can get up to sort of 36 miles per gallon. I'm getting around 32 on a, a round combined trip of city, country and um, motorway. I can get 35 miles per gallon out of it but not really any higher. Uh, if I really went 40, 50 miles an hour in fifth gear, um, then I think it'd be, you know, it'd be sort of getting 40 miles per gallon. I think that's achievable. So that's it really. There's nothing really more to show you on this. It's a, it's a good, nice cabin. Pretty basic, but I actually really like how basic it is. I really like how tough and utilitarian it is. Um, and it's actually a very comfortable truck. Uh, I was going to mention the speakers actually for this. There's only six speakers and they're all in the front. There's no rear speakers, which is a little bit irritating. But at the same time, they actually give a, a good all round um, sound note of them. Good bass, mid and treble. And I'm um, quite impressed with it really. Uh, there is a bit of a problem in the rear. In fact, let's go and sit in there. It's not a problem, but I'll show you. See, like I said, plenty of leg room. Plenty of leg room in the back. You're not sat too bolt upright either. This is what I'd really like for the truck to have. Normally here, on a lot of cars, here and perhaps in the middle here, you'd get vents. Um, and on this you don't. And people in the back when it's been really cold or too hot have complained because there's <clears throat> there's not enough ventilation and the windows do steam up really easily and you know you have to really blast the, the cold air up from the vents along the front of the car um, and then you get too hot in the front and they're still not warm enough or you get too cold in the front and they're not cool enough uh, vice versa so is it, I think Isuzu could fairly easily pipe uh, ventilation down to that area or through to the back it can cost that much surely because there's a lot of even cheaper cars have that on it um, but apart from that it's a nice cabin um, there's nothing fancy about it there's no blinginess about it it just does its job and you get on with it there's nothing to show off about it's just a work truck and it's really nice and comfortable um, as you can see it's got the D-Max badge on the back, a nice little touch, and of course the perforated leather, um, red and back leather on here, Let's see, if you see what I mean about it being firm, but they're actually very comfortable to sit on. Overall, I think a good truck inside and I'm really enjoying it, this is the, sort of the first update I've done, video update, I've about a month and a half, two months I've been driving it. So I'll keep you updated on that guys. This is carproductstest.com, don't forget to go to the website, go to our Facebook and Twitter pages and like and share all stuff. Cheers guys.